Hello, this is uh, Sudhi from Sridhanya Millet Planet, an organization dedicated to promoting health and sustainability through the power of ancient grains and organic natural products. And today we have the pleasure of interviewing uh, Ramesh. Ramesh is from Sacramento. As part of our ongoing Balanced Lifestyle and Balanced Lifestyle Leads to a Positive, ser uh, positive Life series. Ramesh has been a client of Organic Sphere and has, uh, has started uh, practicing a healthy lifestyle now for over seven years. And in this interview, we, he will share his journey, inspiring journey, I should say. And uh, let's see what he has uh, got to share with us. Uh, hey, Ramesh, sir, uh, welcome to the show. And uh, you can start off uh, your brief introduction as to uh, tell, tell us uh, something about yourself, and then uh, we can uh, dig deeper. Yeah, thank you, Sudhi. Thank you very much uh, for giving opportunity like this to talk with you. And uh, thank you for one more thing. I just need to thank you for uh, starting Organic Spear and uh, serving people, uh, sub, uh, giving a good products like Malates and other products. Uh, thank you so much for that, for you. Thank you, thank you. And regarding uh, me, um, my name is Ramesh Tola. I'm from Sacramento. I have been in the business for a long time, almost like 17 years, uh, doing real estate business. It's uh, so much stressful, like construction and everything. I used to do that. So. That was my background about. I have a wife uh, works for Wells Fargo, and also I have a daughter uh, who is a medical student right now in Boston University. Oh, that's great to know. Great to know. Yeah. And uh, can you share with us your motivation uh, and uh, inspiration uh, to adopt millets? Uh, you did mention that you have been uh, uh, using millets for over seven years now. What made you uh, go through this uh, lifestyle change? Yeah. Um, yeah, the, 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 see, the, re, the motivation is uh, simple because it's a visible motivation for me because uh, without knowing myself, uh, I, came, I came to the streets like al almost like uh, uh, 30 years ago. But since then, I've been focusing and working and working and working and working. Uh, without knowing myself, I, I keep on putting a weight, so much weight, so much weight. I didn't even notice that what I'm eating, what I'm doing, I'm not really noticed anything. And then suddenly one point of time when I noticed that my weight was 235 pounds, mm. I was shocked. I mean, I, 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 keep, I keep testing myself. I keep doing all blood tests and everything that's, that's there. Apart from that, I keep put on weight all the time. Like then it's about 235 pounds after I reach it. I keep, before that also, I use a lot of diet things. So many people, what is available in the market, I tried uh, so many other diets too. I don't want to name them, but I just tried so many diets. But at the time of using the diet, I may be reducing a little bit, like 10 pounds or something like that. And then and then I become busy in the work. Then when I when I go back again, I, I increase my weight. So something is happening like that. And then I, I'm doing trial and error methods and by using so many things. But I also used to do exercise. Mm -hmm. But the exercise is another plus and minus point, because if you do a lot of weight lifts and everything like that, once you suddenly stop, you put on a lot of weight, okay? Mm -hmm. That is what happened in my life, actually, because I was doing weight liftings and all the things, but suddenly, when I because of no time, sometimes I don't do it, and then I get back my weight because my say, hungry was same. Same size of amount of food, I keep on eating it, but without exercise. So that way, I just put on, keep on waiting. I mean, adding so many pounds, so many pounds to my body. Mm -hmm. Then um, when I went to India in nine, 2016, I came across with my friend, one of my friend, hey, there is a, uh, uh, the, uh, so the, the personality called the Dr. Kadarwali from Mysore. And then uh, he has some videos. Why don't you listen to that? Then I, I just, I just listened one video. It was very, very interesting. S till that time, I never ever listened that kind of videos uh, because so far, Everybody's talking nutrition, nutrition, nutrition in America about the diets, diets, diets. But this is the first person who was talking about the definition of food. I was so shocked. The definition of food is like this, part A, part, part B. The part A is the nutrition. The part B is the toxins in the body should be removed day by day. Every day, all the toxins should be removed day to day. That is the food you should eat. Um, there I got attracted with that things. Wow, this is something magic. I should try this. So, and then uh, being I'm from the, say, the, the I'm from my town, like Kadapa, I know about 
I heard about the one type of millet, which is called Koralu. That's a fox style millet. We used to eat a very old days. We used to eat it. But vaguely, I remember that. Then when he was talking, like Dr. Khad was talking about millets, I, I, I got some hope. I, it should work. Got some hope. The way he was talking, it it's balanced food. The word, very, very attractive words, the balanced. It's it, the balanced food. It is a food with balance. What does it mean? Then I understand when I, I was watching the videos and everything about him. And then he, he was always talking about three imbalances when it happens in the body. It's all abnormality. All diseases will happen. Number one is microbial balance. Number two is uh, the, the glucose balance, imbalance. And then num number three is uh, um, other imbalances. Uh, um, what is that? Glucose, microbial balance. Hormonal. hormonal. Okay. These three imbalances, when you balance this in the body, inside the body, everything is normal. Like you will be healthy. You don't need to go to the doctor and stuff like that. He was talking in a video like that. I, I was so, so, so impressed and I, I, everything into, went into my brain. Then I came back to America and I started. But problem is that time, the millets were not available in America. <laughs> that, that time, that was the biggest problem. So then I, I bought a bunch of millets there itself in India and then shipped here for a year products completely here. And then I keep, after coming here, I keep telling to the grocery stores and everybody asking like that. Uh, and sharing all this knowledge with them. Hey, why don't you bring some some to America so that we can buy here like that? But whatever it happens, then I keep starting that thing. You won't believe it. Within two years, I mean, every 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 month I I've, I've been observing my weight. But I ultimately after two years, if I look at my weight, it is 170 pounds, 65 pounds, 65 pounds. I removed. A weight from my body, so light, very beautiful, very nice. I can't even express my feelings how I was that time and how I how, how I am today too. Sure. So that was the main thing. Uh, the, the, with obesity, I want to add a little bit and say in the obesity that time I can call I was obese, and at that time because of the obesity, I got a fatigue. I also I used to try it so much in a day with my work and everything. Um, um, it's I lose my uh, sometimes I lose my appetite like that. Th th there are so many side effects with obesity. So, and, and also I almost reached my triglycerides were a little high. Mm -hmm. My cholesterol, the, the LDL was not good. So right. these are things happening and, and because of the obesity thing. Yeah, so, you probably were well at the right time. I mean, all the, all the uh, uh, key metrics were all uh, directing towards some kind of disease that you would get into. And just in time, you adopted a lifestyle change, um, adopting millets, and then that started reducing your weight. You feel good now. You feel better. Uh, your uh, yeah, the uh, the triglycerides uh, improved. The LPL uh, improved. Uh, is that fair to say? Uh, just yeah, yeah. Every, everything everything normal. I, you won't believe not improved. It's everything normal. It's it's not it's not that the word improved. It it is completely normal. So called normal, whatever so -called the normal. medical they use the normal numbers. Everything is normal. So <laughs> so it was so normal. I mean, it's amazing. It was short actually. I, right. I I I I never thought it happens like that. It's really a millet is a magic. So uh, uh, that's why I. I, I, I want to tell everything, um, it, but all you need to have the patience, that's it. It will work. For everyone, it works. Sure. Yeah, that is the motivation. The inspiration was the, like, um, uh, my kid, when, when, when I was starting, like 2016, when I was 235 pounds, I used to tell when my kid was eating some other, like junk food, everything, I used to tell my kid not to eat the junk food, but I used to eat that. So my kid was telling me like, hey, dad, you're a hypocrite. Then I said, I know, I, I, she said to me like that, I was real, I realized that. So, okay, I realized that she was my inspiration because I want to reduce first myself. Then I will tell her. And then before I stop my streets, then I want, unless that I should not tell her. So I started realizing like that, she made me like that to think. And then I started everything uh, after, after uh, hearing Kadar and everything. Then I replaced everything, whatever Kadar says with my routine life. Whatever I, I was assuming that is the right food and eating like rice, wheat, and other, all other stuff. I was assuming the right, that was the right food because there is no alternative food. Mm -hmm. But 
amazingly, the Kadar, Dr. Kadar, when he said, there is a food, there is a right food. You guys are, then I was, I, I was completely replaced with all my foods with millets. Okay, okay. Good to know. Um, so, uh, was there, I mean, when you transitioned, when you start, you were, when you did the switch uh, to start consuming millets instead of your regular rice and uh, wheat flour and things like that, what were some of the key changes that you had to make in your daily routine um, in terms of uh, uh, in terms of the diet or maintain the lifestyle, healthy lifestyle? Uh, because uh, it's uh, definitely millets. Uh, it does have uh, the taste. It uh, it does taste a little bit different. And there are some dishes you cannot readily make it uh, with the millet. So what were some of the key changes that you had to make uh, in your uh, daily routine? Yeah. So first of all, <clears throat> uh, uh, before going to that point, uh, let me talk about this. Uh, this is, eating millet is not is, is one sentence because number the number one point is what the type of millets you're using because in the market there are so many other types are available so when you are choosing the millets please choose the right millets okay what is right millets go and watch the video of uh, kadarwalis or Sar dr sarla they show you and spend some time for 10 minutes or something like that to watch that understand what what is the right millet or like type of millet like there is a one millet called the buchi method millets okay what Actually, you sell that millets too, okay? The butchie method millets. They, they are the right millets if you really want to heal or get good health. That is what's number one point. If you made a wrong in choosing a right millet, then, then everything wrong, okay? That is one thing. And number two is the, the how to eat that millet. You should understand how to cook the millet. That is very, very important. Please spend some time how to cook that millet. It is not like a rice or wheat cooking process. The cooking process is a little bit different. I'm not explaining here because please go ahead and watch a lot of videos of Kadas. You will know it how to cook that thing. And the third thing is when to eat. That is very important when to eat. So most of the people, the, not you, you cannot eat like rice or wheats like that because the millets is like once you eat it, it's tummy full. So that's why the main main change, according, coming, to main, your, main your question, change. coming to your question, uh, my my main change is I replaced all my grains with millets, all grain food like wheat, right? Those things. That is one one important thing I did it. And before that, keep watching at least one video a day. Kadar do Kadar's video. <laughs> that is that is one other thing because why? What happens when keep on watching it? Every word Kadar says is a meaning meaningful, and every every word he says behind that there is a science. If you you have to dig into that. If you dig into that and understand the science and logic, then you will follow it. You should understand what he says, understand your body, and then it, you connect it. it. All dots will be connected. Believe me that. That is one thing you have to change in your life. Watch one video and, and change the change millet diet. And then what I did is changing all millets. And um, other things is, uh, instead of eating three times, I started eating two times. The, the important is to, when I changed two times, the one time I, I, compel, I'm, I'm, I, I mandate my, my eating, one time is an ambali. The ambali is nothing but a fermented fruit rich. Like yeah, that's what right. I eat yeah, yeah. one time. And then second time I eat whatever I want. Like I make, the, with the millet, I make everything. Like uh, dosa, idli, or whatever it is. Like uh, pongal, uh, all, all, of, all varieties, whatever you make with the rice, I made with that and I, I eat. Uh, I eat tummy full. I'm not, I'm not starving. That is the beauty of millet. Beauty of millet is no starving. Like diet means everything people, they think it is, a, it is starving. But millet is not diet. It is a lifestyle. So you, you can eat whatever you want. Nothing will, uh, nothing will happen. Like uh, you can consume it. You can, you can be happy about that. And the other thing says uh, added, I used to walk that time too, but irregular walking. But I made it a systematic walking like one hour, 15 minutes. Uh, every day morning, I, I keep walking that that lifestyle. I change that lifestyle, and then um, I also spend most of the time with the nature in the weekends, uh, uh, with uh, by going hiking and everything. Those, those kind of things I changed it. Uh, and one important thing is, uh, I used to stretch hold my body at least ten minutes before going to bed and after getting up the bed. That those kind of stretches I do that. Uh, what what else? Um, 
Um, so how does uh, your day look like? Morning, you have uh, you uh, you have breakfast. See, uh, that one more thing about millets is, you, once you eat tummy full, you never be hungry until until eight hours. Okay, so that way you your 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 productivity will increase so much. I saw that. I observed that actually. In the morning, at nine o'clock, ten o'clock, if I have ambali with the two glasses of ambali, uh, till the evening, like six o'clock or uh, before seven o'clock, I I don't I don't eat anything because you don't need to eat it because you're so full, you're so full. That is one thing because most of the rice uh, when I was eating rice, why did I put more weight when I'm eating rice, and then after two hours I I'm hungry, I want to do I want to eat something. When I go in the kitchen, most of the junk will be in the kitchen that those days, <laughs> so that I I keep. I keep eating something and then I keep, I, 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 because it's because of hunger, because of hunger, we can't stop it. We have to eat something what is available in the home. That's what I keep on eating it. So because of the work stress, we keep on eating that. But one good thing about millet, once you, once you drink or whatever, you eat millet and you don't need to eat for anything at, until for eight hours. That is the beauty of it. Even if you go to office in lunch, you don't need to eat anything. Just drink two glasses of millet and, and the ambali, you go to work. And then come back in the evening at six o'clock or five o'clock, and then eat another 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 meal. That's the beauty of it. Right. Okay. So typically, is the is it fair to say that you uh, you you would avoid uh, breakfast and directly take lunch? It is not. It is not lunch time. It is not breakfast time. Okay, in between, it's kind it, of a more it, of a it military. Is, it is around nine o'clock, nine to ten o'clock, like nine to ten o'clock. Uh, it's not exactly lunch, or it is not things because. And the reason I did like that because uh, as I, uh, the very important thing is evening time meal. You should finish before seven o'clock. Okay. So, and then after that, you should not eat until the morning, like nine o'clock. So that it's kind of a kind of a long fasting too. So it works if the, your body works differently to that time. Yeah, you you provide a good amount of time for it to digest uh, at least uh, 14, 15 hours uh, from. Yeah. Uh, to the next meal in the day yeah that, that one makes... more one more point i need to tell because if it is rice or wheat if you eat early at the at the at, at a six o'clock or seven o'clock but you get hungry when you go to bed like around 10 o'clock 11 o'clock you get hungry but with the millet if you eat at six o'clock and seven o'clock you never be hungry until you wake up yeah <laughs> that is the beauty of it <laughs> <clears throat> so um is there any special advice that you would uh, provide uh, to people who want to adopt such a lifestyle? I mean, uh, there are so many other diets that uh, that is uh, available on the internet and uh, among the social media folks that you have the keto, uh, paleo, and you know things like that. But is there any specific advice if somebody wants to uh, say, "Hey, I want to just uh, go and uh, follow uh, millet advice"? I mean, uh, this diet uh, it looks like it worked for you. And uh, I don't see a reason why it wouldn't work for me. I would like to go and uh, do this. What is the best advice? How do how should they approach um, going about it? I'm not against for any diets, and uh, to be frank with you, because all the diets may work for them. Yeah. Uh, but why I choose the millet? I'll tell you why I choose the millet. The millet is not the diet; it's a lifestyle. Right. So and and. The, you when 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 doctor says also when the doctor father says it's a, you, you should think like that our body is not separate things like it is a holistic thing like that's the reason when you have if suppose in millet through millet suppose you pro, you follow a protocol uh, for a sugar okay like a sugar patient's protocol mm. it doesn't only work for sugar it works for the whole thing for the body that is the beauty of it but most of the diets if you are focused it's very focused them I mean, like if you want to reduce the weight it will only reduce the weight or if it reduces the sugar, it only reduces the sugar. That is that is what I notice with other diets. But especially the, this this kind of diet, uh, this kind of lifestyle, it is not like that. It 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 cleanses everything, whole body. It, the, the, your food style, like lifestyle, it 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 works for whole body. It doesn't matter whether suppose you you're you're following a protocol for cancer. It you're not really treating the cancer there. You're treating whole body. Yeah. That is the beauty of it because. When say for example, my friend mom was having some cancer problem, and then we started using it. She the forget about cancer at that time. Whatever the other problem she has, it for knee pains, for other pains, everything is keep going on one by one, one by one. She used to work only half an hour. Now after using like a three months of diet, the the lifestyle of millet, she used to walk like three miles. I was shocked. 
Yeah. yeah. So 72 years lady. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. I've been seeing a lot of people like that. Even Parkinson's, uh, the, the patient one is 80 years old. Same thing had happened for him too. Many other things will cure. Many other things. That is a beauty of like uh, uh, lifestyle. It, it is not diet. It is a lifestyle. So, no, I, I mean, it is, it is, yeah, absolutely. It is a lifestyle. Uh, like doctor says, uh, it's uh, all, I mean, use the structured water, use the clay pot to uh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, cook uh, millets and then you make the. Yeah, very, very, very important thing is like uh, you should, should, there are, there are no's, there are big no's for, there are certain things. You should, you should avoid them first. Okay, it's very hard because I'm I'm a coffee lover. Okay, I was a coffee lover, like I'm a coffee lover, and I I used to drink like four times or five times coffee a day, but since now almost five years, I quit coffee. I quit coffee, tea, everything. It's hard to quit. I know I understand totally, but there is a process that you can quit everything slowly one by one. I, I'm not I'm not saying that whatever you are eating you should quit it immediately, but slowly, slowly, slowly. Say slow and steadily, like just uh, one by one, keep it away, keep it away, keep it away. If you if you keep on adding the millet and like decautions, whatever the kada says, keep keep on adding to your life, your whole life, your healthy life will get it just like this. But one one more thing I want to let you guys know that any blood related diseases, like for example, sugar disease or blood pressure or some other blood related disease. If you, if you follow this lifestyle, the millet lifestyle, it takes uh, six weeks time to see the result. See the result, entire, I mean, like most, like it, it keep on, it, it, it to get normal, little bit normal, six weeks is a minimum time you should give enough time and, and you should not cheat it. You should always follow whatever Dr. Kada says very strictly and then see after six weeks, all these blood related diseases will, will go away. But any organ disease, for example, kidney disease or heart disease or maybe lung disease, these, these will take longer time. You should have a patience. It may take six months or it may take two years. But for me, it took me two years to get to the normal weight. Mm -hmm. But I have a patience. I, I trusted it. Please believe that. Uh, have, a, have, a, have a trust and do, the, do this lifestyle. You will definitely get the result. But some people, they are... Because it's not like an allopathy, you know, just not, not immediate action. Because here, remember, we are not managing the disease. We are curing the disease. Yeah. Managing disease is easy. Just quick. You can manage just like that today. Yeah, I mean, but, for that, there are doctors uh, who can manage your disease with uh, uh, yeah. capsules and tablets and a uh, whole lot of medicine that they can provide you, right? Yeah, yeah. So my, my point is like, what is management and curing is like, uh, management is, it will come back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cure means it's completely cured. Absolutely. That, that is what I, I want to let you know because that is very important thing. A lot of people, they... See, by managing it, for example, by managing it, you think that the disease is gone for some time. Okay? You think like that because it's gone. Right? Suppose you have a pain. Okay, you've got a painkiller. The pain is gone. You think the pain is gone, but it's not really gone. Right, right. Okay. But when you eat melates, if you have, if you adapt this kind of lifestyle, if the pain is gone, it's gone. That's it. It's mm -hmm. gone. Your knee pain is gone. It's gone. It never yeah. comes again. It's it's completely fixed. Okay. Yeah, and that's about. great. That's great. Uh, I think it was uh, very nice talking to you. Uh, it's a pleasure having you on the show. Uh, I sincerely appreciate your time. In the midst of your busy schedule, you found a few minutes here uh, to spend with us and share your journey. Uh, and I'm also I would like to also thank you personally that. Uh, things uh, that you are trying to influence so many people around you uh, by uh, encouraging them to adopt uh, lifestyle changes. I think it is very uh, nice of you, very noble of you. And also thank you for the introductions that you made in Sacramento. Dr. Khadar Wali will be in Sacramento. Yeah, on, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, on July 6th, he'll be there. And it is a session that uh, we, we, a lot of people are uh, looking forward to. And uh, in the end, I would like to also make a note that, you know, you, you also briefly mentioned about uh, do's and don'ts. I think that's a great uh, feedback. Uh, I would like yeah. to add that as, as soon as we are done, I will, I'll add that as part of this uh, 
uh, this video as well. So for people to look at do's and don'ts, like you mentioned, and yeah. uh, follow that uh, um, protocol uh, like a T. I mean, it's uh, probably from a health standpoint, it's, uh, you know, it, it would be uh, wise to say it's it's the book to follow. Uh, there's absolutely uh, no way anybody can go wrong uh, if you just follow the Millet protocol book. Thank you yeah. so much for your time. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate uh, whatever you're doing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.